welcome back to my channel i am ashley and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel i am ashley i am an in-home daycare provider i've been doing this out of my home for five years and i do have a huge daycare playlist not huge don't think it's not huge but i do have a daycare playlist here on my channel if you guys want to check it out i do have day in the life videos i also have what's in my newsletter all of those interesting kinds of videos for my in-home daycare i do have them in a playlist so if you guys want to check it out go ahead and check it out today we're going to be talking about five tips to avoid provider burnout so there are millions of ways to avoid provider burnout but i'm going to be talking about five i saw another video here on youtube i'm gonna have a link down below it's from clubhouse kids she did a really good job on talking Talking about how to avoid provider burnout as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my five tips so my first tip is to start to take off federal holidays so with me I worked my first two years of daycare consecutively I had no days off aside from the weekends and even then I did sometimes work on weekends and I was burnt out I, I couldn't do it anymore I got really tired and I started to talked to other daycare providers and a lot of them told me to start taking off federal holidays and you might not think that it's much it's a day here it's a day there but it's really helpful especially if you have older kids that are out of school on certain days you can have those days off with them and i really do enjoy taking off those federal holidays i always let my parents know of the federal holidays for the upcoming year in january so in january of the year they find out all of the days that i'm closed for the entire year including my two weeks of vacation so i take two weeks unpaid of vacation and then i also take off my federal holidays so federal holidays i believe there's like almost one every single month and then I think in August is the only month that we don't have them. I could be wrong, but it's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing to do to avoid provider burnout. Like it's helped me a lot. So I just wanted to mention that quick tip for you guys. Also, if you guys are going to take off federal holidays, they are paid. So you're going to write it in your handbook. Federal holidays, I am closed, but those are paid. So the only time that I don't get paid is when I'm on vacation. If they're on vacation, they have to pay me. And on federal holidays, I still get paid in full. There's no adjusting tuition or any of that just letting you guys know that so the next one is to enforce strict hours of operation that's a huge one when i first started my daycare i was 20 years old and i feel like a lot of people saw that i was really young and they took advantage of it and they would bring their kids at six in the morning i opened at 7 30 i had a lady that would bring her daughter at six o'clock in the morning and she wouldn't pay early fees for the first two years that i did daycare up until the day i woke up i was sick and tired of people bringing their kids super early and not paying me and then they would also come up late for pickup so they would come after six so it was really annoying to me i didn't like it i felt like i was being taken advantage of and i also felt like i was getting burnt out i was like is this what daycare is about and i was going to quit in the beginning but then i realized like just put your foot down and you'll get far i wanted to stay home with my sons and just making sure that you have strict hours of operation is really important so the third one is try to do all of your child caring during the week and keep your weekends free so when i first started daycare i didn't like to say no to anybody i had a lady that would work weekends and she would ask me if it was okay if i watched her son and i would say yeah and then as weeks and days were going on i was like oh my god like i only have one day off and it's sunday and i'm working saturdays so i stopped doing weekends and i told her if you really need me i can only do monday to friday so i started working from early in the morning all the way till late at night if you guys watched my vlogmas videos on my channel you guys will see that i worked from 7 30 in the morning to 8 at night but that's only monday through friday so i would burn myself out monday through friday make the extra money that i could make do everything during the week and then my weekends i'm free like i don't have to do anything i don't have to worry about anybody and i think that that helps a lot the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about is to turn off your phone and keep it away from you during the day on the weekends. Check it at night in case there are any emergencies or you have messages from parents. That's a good one. So wake up early in the morning, turn off that phone or leave it to the side or whatever. Spend time with your family. Do everything that you need to do and keep your phone away from you. I sometimes still get parents that text me on the weekends. Um, it doesn't. It's not as bad as it was in the beginning because I get everything to them during the week. That's going to be my next one. My next one is to send all lists of supplies and all things parents and child related to the parents by Friday. So your weekends are free and no parents should be texting you unless there's an emergency. So on Friday night, I check if every kid has their diapers, their wipes, their extra clothes, shot records, everything that I need, I let them know by Friday. So that on Saturday, they're not texting me, hey, do they need diapers? I'm in the store. On Sunday, they're not texting me, hey, I'm in the store. Do they need wipes? 
everything is to them by Friday. There's no reason you should be texting me on the weekend, if you guys get what I'm saying. So I let them know every single thing on Friday so that Saturday I don't got to worry about it or Sunday I don't got to worry about it. So you could keep your phone away from you during the day on the weekends, just like the fourth tip that I told you guys about. So I think that with those five things, it's helped me a lot. I feel like my job is so much more easier now i have my 7 30 to 6 o'clock schedule it sounds like a lot but it's not that bad and i'm home you know i don't gotta worry about traffic or anything it's really good it works for me but i'm telling you guys when you guys start an in-home daycare aside from strict hours of operation and taking off federal holidays and stuff like that be really firm with your policies because when people start to bend and mess with your policies is when you start to get stressed out and you guys don't want that so that basically completes this video on my five tips to avoid provider burnout. I hope that they helped you. I hope that they were helpful for any provider that's out there feeling burnt out. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And that completes today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video.